If your teacher has assigned you an assignment in Google Classroom where you need to annotate on a worksheet that is in PDF form, here's how you can do that with a tool called Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive. Find the assignment in Google Classroom. Here you can see this is a PDF. We recommend you click View Assignment to open up the assignment and find where you can turn it in. You'll see your teacher's instructions here and your work on the right hand side. Click on your work to open up the worksheet. Once it's open, you'll see that it is not yet ready to be edited. There's just a few more steps you need to do. On the upper right hand side, click on the three dots and click Open in New Window. This will open up a new window. From here, you will see the Open With. Click on that and click on Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive to get to the tools that you can use to complete this worksheet. Once here, you'll see your name has been added to the name of the worksheet. You'll see you have three tools, add a sticky note, highlight, or use the drawing tool, which can be used as a pencil. Depending on which tool your teacher has asked you to use, I'm going to show you the three ways you can use them. The first is the sticky note. Simply click on it. Once it turns blue, it means it's an active tool. If you need to respond to this specific question, simply click on it and add your response on the right hand side. Once you've typed your full response, click post. You'll see it says save, but since I have more work to do, I'm going to continue on. I'm going to click in the next space to add my next response. Once I finish writing my response, I click post. I can continue moving through the entire worksheet, clicking on the spaces where I need a response and adding the response on the right hand side. Once I finished, I would click save. If you don't see a saved button, don't worry, that does mean that it auto-saved. All post-it notes default to yellow. If you want to change the color, simply click on it. Click on the yellow dot to change the color. Your teacher may ask you to use specific color post-it notes for a specific type of questions or responses. So be sure to follow your teacher's instructions. If your teacher asks you to highlight and annotate, use the highlighting tool. Using your mouse, drag over the items that you want to highlight. You'll have the option to add additional information on the right-hand side. Click Post. Again, the default is this yellow highlight, but if you click on this icon here, you can change the color of the highlighting. So again, check with your teacher for specific colors that they may want you to use for particular things you are highlighting. And again, make sure you click Save. The Pencil tool can be used to draw shapes as well as to write. Keep in mind that the default is a little thick. Since the default is a little large, you can click on it and change the color as well as the line thickness. You can also resize if you need to fit it in a space. I find the pencil tool works best if you have a touch screen, but you may be handy with your touchpad and your mouse to be able to write your responses on your worksheet. And again, be sure you click Save. The fourth tool is the text tool. To activate it, click the T, and you'll notice it turns blue. You will also have a blue cursor. Place your cursor where you would like to type in a text box, and then type your information. Click outside of the text box, hover back over it so you can place it where you would like it to be. Clicking inside the text box will also activate some of the tools that you have. You have the ability to change the color of the text, as well as the size of the font. Remember, you can hover over it to reposition. Each text box comes with a comment section where you can add additional information if needed. If you need to add another text box, click the T again and place your cursor where you would like it to go. Now, if you're spending some time thinking about your work, you may notice that it actually saves on its own. This is because it's connected to Google Drive, and as we know, our Google items, there you go, see, it automatically saves for you. So if you finish your work and you're thinking about what you need to do and you go to save at the end, you notice there's no save button, remember it did save on its own. If you want to make any changes to anything you've written on the right-hand side prior to turning it into your teacher, you can simply click on it and click on the three dots to edit your work. Just be sure you click Post, 
And if the Save button is there, click Save. Now we need to turn this in so our teacher can give us some feedback. Back in Google Classroom, you may see this page because this is where you opened up the assignment. Click on the arrow to go back to your Google Classroom and click Turn In. If the teacher has graded your work, it will be indicated here. If they've given you a comment, it will be indicated here. In this case, my teacher has asked me to revise for regrading. So I click on my assignment. I can see my annotations. Again, I need to open with Adobe Acrobat for Google Drive. You can see on the right-hand side, I have a little one next to my initials. If I click on this, I can see what my teacher is asking me to do. I can add my reply here. Just be sure to click Post so your teacher can see your new response. Work your way through here to check out all of the responses that your teacher gave you. Add any new information and then click Save. Return to your Google Classroom to resubmit so your teacher can regrade your assignment. You can also add a comment here to let your teacher know that you have revised and it's ready for regrading. We hope this tool will help you in completing your assignments from your teachers.